Well, this is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Krovis DeckCast. I'm sure glad you could join us for the Krovis DeckCast today. Uh, we've got some exciting news about some things that are happening with uh, the Chromebook and the Chrome operating system that I want to share with you. Let me get my notes up. I've got to look at my screen, ha <laughs> ha, which is behind me there. Uh, first of all, this was these are announcements from uh, Google's I.O. event that just occurred recently. And uh, some pretty neat stuff going on. The first thing I want to talk about is that uh, one of the announcements was that uh, Android applications will soon be able to run on some Chromebooks. I say some Chromebooks because there's a list of Chromebooks that uh, will support playing Android applications. The whole uh, thing here is that the Google Play Store uh, will be available, the Android part of it, for uh, Google Chrome. So, but only certain Chromebooks. Now, fortunately, my Chromebook, which is the Asus Chromebook Flip, is included, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, a lot of them are Chromebooks that have touch screens, uh, like mine does, but a touch screen is not necessarily required. However, of course, they're trying to mimic, uh, you know, an Android device like a phone. Where's my phone? I never seem to have it when I want it. <laughs> anyway, uh, but like a phone, where you can touch the, the screen of the phone and, of course, running Android like mine is. I have a Samsung uh, Note 5. But at any rate, I'm digressing. Other things. Uh, the uh, announcements other than that were all things that don't relate specifically to Chrome or to Chromebooks, but they're still pretty exciting. For instance, they're going to have a... Uh, device very much like this one. I can almost reach it. Hold on, let me pull the power on it. There we go. <laughs> this is Alexa, which by pulling the power, she won't talk to me uh, like I, it normally would happen when I say Alexa. So, but this is an Alexa, and I have that here at home, and I really like it. I can do things like ask, uh, you know, what the weather is and things like that. When I plug it in, it's going to boot, so you're going to hear it talk to me. But at any rate, uh, Google announced a device very much like Alexa. And uh, that device looks pretty interesting. You can do a lot with it. It's kind of, it's not as, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not as diverse as Alexa in its operation, but for what it specifically does, it looks pretty cool. I don't know what the price is going to be on it yet, so I'm kind of looking forward to finding that out to see if I'm going to be able to have uh, both, you know, uh, devices available to me. You know, maybe have one in the bedroom and one here in the living room. I don't know. Hello. Hello, Alexa. <laughs> so, Alexa, what's the weather like tomorrow? Pronounce Alexa. Alexa. The stress is on the middle syllable. Okay, I didn't say right. Well, it's, you know, partially because of my head cold kind of sounding voice, but Alexa. What's the weather like tomorrow? Tomorrow in High Point, there will be mostly sunny weather with a high of 85 and a low of 62. There you go. So see, she's my sidekick <laughs> here on the show. Whatever. Anyway, I don't know what the weather is like wherever you're watching, but I know what the weather is going to be like tomorrow because she's telling me. I can also have her uh, play music and do other things. The Google device will do some similar stuff. It's called Google Home, as in Google in your home. So you'll be able to ask it things and, and you know, say things like, uh, uh, okay, Google, what is the name of the guy who plays uh, Barry Allen on The Flash? And it will tell you, much like Alexa will, maybe. <laughs> you never know what Alexa's going to actually know. Alexa. Who plays Barry Allen on the Flash TV show? She just said Badoop. <laughs> that is incorrect, Alexa. Alexa, what are you good for? You can ask me anything factual and I'll answer if I can. If she can, she'll answer. That's a cop out. Anyway, I'm picking on her. Uh, so. 
that was the main news that I wanted to share with you is about uh, Google's IO event. Some of the things they announced, I didn't go into all of them because they're not Chromebook related, Chrome related. But I'm pretty excited about Android applications on Chrome. That's going to be cool. And they're going to keep improving Chrome. Chrome is not going away, contrary to the past rumors. Uh, it's going to be around, but it's going to have some integrated abilities that it didn't have before. Pretty cool. Anyway, stay here for all the shiny news on the Chromis Netcast.